of a domesticated slug is pretty easy. Three hots and a cot, a roof over their heads, and a slinger to sling them. But out in the wild, it's a whole nother story. There, slugs forage for food, while risking becoming food. In the wild, it's not uncommon to see different kinds of slugs band together out of necessity, each species contributing to the good of the group. Of course, the goal of every slug is to find the slinger who was meant to sling them. Once that happens, everything else is just gravy. Delicious slug chow gravy. As we all know, slugs love becoming a velocimore. It's a time for them to go wild and crazy and release pent up energy. But in their downtime, slugs just want to relax and take it easy. Case in point. Get some rest, guys. You'll need it for tomorrow. Feeding of slugs. There's nothing in the world that slugs love more than transforming and releasing their inner beast. From the tiniest fingerling to the most massive battle slug, every one of them lives to please their slinger by reaching their potential. But love is a two-way street. A successful slinger knows that a happy slug is a healthy slug. And a healthy slug wins duels. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of healthy, make sure that your slugs get a balanced diet. They can eat people food, but they need slug food. You probably don't want to eat slug food. Slugs are mischievous, and they love to play tricks on people. If you fall victim to their pranks, it means that they accept you. Huh? Prank them back. They love it. Respect your slug, and you'll have a friend for life. <laughs> 